Well, it, it's recorded, so you know. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, uh, <laughs> welcome anyone watching on the recording to our monthly uh, R4DS Project Club. Uh, every second Saturday of the month, we meet to talk about something that someone is working on or learning about or whatever they want to talk about. It's just an opportunity for people to show us uh, something that they find interesting and to practice a talk, basically. Um, and this month, uh, Federica Gasolini is, or Gasoloni, sorry, is going to talk to us about um, Our Ladies Chapters, making talks work for diverse audiences. And with that, take it away, Federica. Hello, everyone. So as John said, my name is Federica Gazzelloni, and I'm going to introduce you to this topic for, for this month, this project club. Uh, and um, it is all about our ladies' chapters and uh, the audience that we are um, uh, basically looking to um, attract it, it at each event. And so I had a look at a few uh, chapters and I'll show you what I found. Okay, so uh, this this um, project club will be about our ladies' chapters and making talks work for a diverse audience. My name is Federica Gazzelloni, and I welcome to uh, our this um, introduction. So I am um, you can find me on GitHub and uh, at S. Uh, and I am a freelancer, a naturally, and a statistician. At the moment, I'm a bit busy ordering a book titled Earth Metric and the Satisfactory Procedure with Machine Learning Applications and Spatial Model Analysis, uh, sponsored by CRC Press. So I'm pretty excited about this. And it's a uh, uh, huge commitment. I'm also an HME collaborator, mentor for R4DS, uh, and uh, our ladies' room organizer, and also I love data visualizations, and for which I'm just a prediction. Okay, so the R ladies' chapters uh, actually, uh, uh, so it is a, a huge movement, okay, and it is sponsored by the R consortium. Uh, the the main um, uh, so the 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 the, uh, the holding let's say so the the main the 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 root of the old chapter is our ladies global uh, which is a um, uh, an inspiring community uh, it, it is full of empowerment and diversity in the field of data science. So this is uh, funded in 2012 by Gabriela de Queros. And so our ladies began as a grassroots movement so with, with a simple mission. The mission to promote gender diversity in the art programming community, provide a welcoming space for women and gender minorities to learn, collaborate, and excel in data science. And so Our Ladies is now a worldwide organization with 219 chapters in 63 countries, more than 4,000 events, and about 93 members globally. So that's uh, a bit like um, a curiosity. So why it matters? So diverse audiences have a unique needs and expectations. So understanding them it's a key to a successful presentation. So a presentation that is basically um, able to attract 
people that uh, are happy to join your events, take part to your events, uh, and being involved in what's happened within the events. These are not just simple events, okay? So just things that you uh, join online, you do courses and everything. No, it's much more. So it's like a growing community, a continuous growing community that you can um, meet friends and other people like you and share your experiences and gain, I don't know, like networking, many things. And it, it is very um, rewarding in, 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 in these terms because you can uh, meet new people that are doing your, sharing your uh, interests basically and uh, maybe evolve a bit with um, many things. And so when you organize these events, you need to think about us, uh, about much more about your audience than about what you are, uh, what you would like to hear, basically, or what you would like to follow. Okay, you need to you think about who is going to be to um, to to my event. Who is coming? Who will be join us? And so uh, I I am. Um, I've just started, so about it's it's nearly two years now, uh, and so the first year, I've, um, so prediction is a bit with our ladies DC, and so they organized, and I watched, and I proposed uh, some people and things, and then I started with my with the chat with our ladies room with my community, so my local community. And so the, the first things I thought, how can I, you know, get noted? Okay, we are from Rome. So, you know, Rome, Cap Mundi. So it's, it's quite like, <laughs> uh, it's, it's an open door. Okay. But um, here we are talking about a worldwide community. Uh, and so um, I thought that the English language, it's also... Uh, a huge call, okay? So it's very important for Italians uh, to be able to share, learn, even on a, on a second language, as English it is um, the, the main language for literature and many things. So you, we have many terms in English. And so it's good to share knowledge, but also share a new language. And so I started with, um, launching the, the chapter with Julia Silgi, and that was a huge uh, success. And, and this is uh, something that you, um, in general, uh, it's very important to think about, it's a sort of marketing. It's not my personal, uh, you know, expertise, but within the years, uh, um, obviously, I come to uh, doing some marketing, okay, also then on top of statistics. Okay, let's go forward and see what's happened. So the audience, it's very important, okay? So you might um, have many people that sign up for your events, and then when they join your events, they are not always satisfied. And people that is excited, so we are doing empowering women, and so we join things, and other people just, join to um, learn new things that are usually uh, very expensive and so they they find them on free for free other people is just uh, you know upset it's not what I wanted it's not what I searched it's not what I expected it's it's too short it's too long it's too annoying it's too you know uh, not 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 too much going in depth on the argument and it, 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 this is very difficult. And so you need to adapt the content, thinking about your audience, use uh, relatable examples, engage with your audience. And this is not uh, an easy task, okay? Especially when you, you, th you think, you, I, I, I'll ask people to get in touch, uh, be involved in everything. 
and this this might happen and so you can uh grow your network within the last 10 years our ladies uh proud across the, con the, the continents okay so there were there are passionate leaders uh they, they um have set up local groups in different cities but it's a you know it's a volunteer experience a volunteer commitment uh, it is a huge result okay because it, it's 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 just a volunteer um so today there are hundreds of chapters uh, that contribute to to this unique mission and as you can see th this is a bit of a fun we have a sort of normal distribution within 10 years this uh, is the the events distribution is the number of uh, events each chapter has taken um from uh, along the years from from 2012 to 2023 okay to 2023 maybe it's not uh, just completed, but uh, nearly there. But as you can see, 2019, 2020 are the, the top highest uh, total of uh, number of events. Because, uh, you know, most probably because of um, uh, outbreaks, and so people uh, it, went online most often, stayed home, and so found a way to to stay connected with, with, with the others, okay? So the, the colors are just, um, it's a bit like uh, difficult to uh, to see that I just shown this, but these are the different chapters. So there are some chapters that follow, um, they, they, they've done just few uh, events while others much more. Then I selected uh, 25, the top 25 Our Ladies chapters. As you can see, Our Lady DC is the top, is on top. Uh, and uh, here is the average number of events per, per year. So you, you can see that um, the, we usually do one, 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 one event a month. Once one event once a month, but you can do more. You can do meet and greets. So you can do in person event. Uh, you can do um, basically what you like. Uh, and um, but uh, um, so somehow surprisingly, because I was talking with um, uh, one of the organizers of our ladies Tunis just yesterday. And she said, our ladies Tunis has a huge amount of followers, but they had to turn out uh, to be, to stay on top, okay? They, they realized that there were more men than women following this event. They would like to be involved with, within this event. So they, uh, they were like a sort of upset uh, because the, um, the, because of the name of the chapter, are ladies. So they they are not ladies, and so they basically uh, transform this joint venture within our ladies Tunis and Tunis R. So the um, our user in Tunis, um, and they joined this this two group, and they just change it to be Tunis R, so they are not our ladies Tunis anymore. But um, this, uh, in some senses, that seems like upsetting things for uh, the, the names of the ladies, the, the R ladies, uh, has turned out to be um, something positive in terms of the audience and the people that follow the events uh, and the, uh, so the gathering of, of the people. And, and as you can see, it's the third on top and they do many events and they are do lots of like sort of introductions of many uh, things within R um, and um, 
um, she just said yesterday that for now something that would be very on top of the audience uh, is talking about obviously AI, okay, artificial intelligence or uh, co-pilot within R. So all those things that are the top of uh, events that we'd be able to gather more people. So let's go uh, forward and see uh, a couple of uh, examples that I've uh, looked, because we are on Meetup. Okay, on Meetup, there are, there's the list of all the chapters. And there is a, um, an API that you can use for uh, grabbing all the, the information, okay? And, and, and there is a, an art package, an interface to this API that you can use for um, extrapolate information for all the art latest chapters, so such as the name of the chapters, the day, the ID of the events, the day um, of the, the date of the events, uh, the number of attendees, uh, the titles, and even the all the the abstracts that they put in um, on Meetup. So let's have a look at, for example, um, some real world examples huh, of effective talk customization for the, a diverse audience. Obviously, you think we know that uh, workshops in um, are very expensive, are very expensive. If we talk about learning a new programming language, and um, so having show the structure, how to use it, and so those all little tip and tricks that helps you to do the thing faster. And so uh, we surprised, we have found that just about only 10% of the event titles mention the words workshop, course, tutorial, introduction, or um, introduction, for example, in, uh, in Spanish. Uh, even if this um, um, type of events attract a, um, a, um, a huge audience. And so they are usually a mix of beginners and experienced data scientists. Um, and what's happened within this, um, this, this, in these cases that you need to do a bit of customization with your workshops, for example, okay? So you started when you have uh, a mixed audience. And this is what's happened when you do free events uh, and things uh, without specifying things. So you might find people that have uh, some experience, not experience, or they are even experts that they want to like find, just just get in for, for curiosity or for other things that they want to blend within their knowledge. And so what do you do in that case? You start with a foundational concept, for beginners and then delve into advanced techniques for the experts. So you you uh, uh, are able to attract the both both sides of your audience. Uh, Why, if we look at the other ninety percent of the events, okay, of the others. Uh, only one less than one percent is titled. Uh, it, the, the title of the chapter mentioned the career as a name. So this is a, a bit of like a shame of it because um, it's very important to share, uh, for example, what uh, the the art studio hangout, the deposit hangout, it, it's attract every week. A large audience. Okay, many people that uh, listen to one of them uh, talking about their career or mm, answering questions about their career, talking about the experience and lesson learned and, and everything. And so I think this is uh, this one this one person can be higher. So uh, more events about talking about career 
uh, might be more uh, a, a, a good things to to improve. And then there is all um, a, again a little two point five percent dedicated just to. I mean, I'm talking about just the title uh, to visualizations, which is a, a still instead another topic which is very uh, popular. Okay, uh, people is interested to see how do you make this graph. And so uh, your audience in this case, um, about so meeting, meetings in general, includes members from various backgrounds. Okay, and so your customization will be varied within the topics. Uh, topics that is discussed to um, about many things uh, and try to uh, gather interest of, of, of all the members. Okay, and here, as a, such as a, an example, um, there is a, the, the head and detail of the top 25 uh, um, uh, events uh, taken in 2023, okay? And as you can see, the number of attendees are quite high for some chapters and quite low from other chapters. For example, here this is a, a meet and greet. This has just been uh, publicized. So in-person events sometimes are very uh, difficult when the chapter is not, uh, in general, uh, so you, you gather more people online than in person, okay? So as you can see, for example, this visualization and data analysis of spatial data, uh, got the 83 uh, attendees, okay? Machine learning as well, tidy models, tidyverse. So a lot of titles uh, or words within the titles that uh, grab the attention of the uh, of your uh, audience, okay? Um, and so, so this is it. This is just what I uh, wanted to mention. And so, just to conclude a bit, um, in um, incorporating diversity in general into your presentation can have a profound impact on engagement and learning. And so, thank you for for joining us today. I don't know if you like have uh, talked about the, your experience. I think John. <laughs> can 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 tell us much more about about those type of audiences. Thank you. Thank you. That was really great. Um, now go if you have any questions, Ricardo, uh, definitely jump in. I'm just curious if you have that uh, like the data that you were looking at. If you have that as a nice clean data set that. Um, might be yeah. usable for Tidy Tuesday, for example. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. Yeah, that, that would be an interesting one. <laughs> Trying yeah. to drive a little bit more in, into the you know the patterns. Yeah. Uh, this is this is just um uh, we have more information and we can set it up for uh Tidy Tuesday. That would that would be very interesting to analyze the titles and everything. Right. Yeah. And see what people do with it. So yeah, that'd be great. Um, it's funny. So I don't have a lot of um experience bringing into this because, like you know, I run a really large community, but it's a very different kind of community. We don't do meetups per se, except this. Um, but then we have book clubs, obviously, that have. All kinds of attendees but you know we don't we try not to have like 83 people except very you know i can give the bullet point of if you have uh hadley speaking <laughs> that will get you a very large number generally um but yeah it's our experience is very different for sure um Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think. Uh, okay, I just I'm really interested to to dive more into the um 
like the impact that different titles have on attendance that that would be interesting to see huh. more of like you know even you know and different ways that people might analyze it or different things people might think of so i would love to see this data set <laughs> uh yeah. that, 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 that's a good point because right now a lot of the you know a lot of the attention that is getting into this data science uh, field is related to uh you know chat gpt and llms so every time that you put a title related to llms or chat gpt uh you you are going to you know you 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 yeah. be sure that there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of attendance there because it is it, is the new thing right it's the new thing and you don't want to uh uh, you know, formal, right? Uh, you know, uh, fear of uh, missing out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, t titles are 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 important. And uh, and another thing that I uh, I just did a presentation this week with the with the, with the Panama. You know, it's it's not it's not related to R, but it's related to another you know to another tool, the uh, Power BI. And uh, I've been involved in this uh, user group from Panama. And uh, one of the things that I was a little bit uh, wary about it because I had to uh, speak in Spanish, right? Uh, in that in that in that presentation, uh, one of the things that I was very conscious is that some of the words that usually we use, let's say I come from Puerto Rico, so some of the words that we use sometimes the meaning is not the same in mm -hmm. that particular uh, you know uh, uh, place, okay. And, and vice versa. So I had to program myself, kind of, you know, try to get the right words, <laughs> get the right words <laughs> to get the right message. Okay. And and it wasn't that 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 difficult. It was because it was more of a technical thing. And uh, you know, it was about uh, uh, how to how to identify the mechanism of missing data and how to deal with them, you know, statistically sound. And it was kind of technical, but still when you are talking to the audience you have to be aware of, of, of that uh you know of, of that uh regionalism that could you know <laughs> could flare a little bit and uh yeah but uh interesting interesting the the case about tunis okay about uh you know how the how the title of the the meetup the the, the ladies by self in that particular culture uh you know had to had to be transformed in other words had to had to change in other words to attract you know more more people um there's another uh uh, uh organization that i'm also aware i don't know if you're john uh, you're aware a uh, data umbrella okay uh they're I, I am yeah they are um, in the uh, open collective foundation so i was just in a meeting with okay great uh, so <laughs> I, I I I also you know uh, follow them and one of the things that they want to uh, you know one of the goals is to foster more diversity in the you know in the data science and and statistical uh, field. So that's another you know that's another place that we could have uh, you know uh, Federica and everyone that is interested could get some ideas on how to yeah. deal with the, you know that that a diverse uh, group. Yeah, so yeah, it's important. I mean, the uh, the the world is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, the world is complicated, and we're seeing you know right in front of our eyes right now, you know, with the situation in the Middle East. So yeah, and uh, and yeah, so but good, good, right? Yeah, and you, yeah, you good, should good, good, good presentation. A... Uh, Thank you. You should have uh, as well uh, lots of experience on these things because you have the your Orlando uh, mm -hmm. user group as well. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, I'm one. I'm one of the co-organizers of the Orlando Machine uh -huh. Learning and Data Science Meetup here, and also we have uh, people from different different walks. In fact, the pandemic uh, brought us people from uh, all, all over the world. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have yes. Presenters from you know other places from especially uh -huh. from central europe okay from poland yeah. uh, ukraine etc so uh you know we have we 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 have to uh adapt 
you know, to exactly. that. Exactly. Not reality. always negative things uh, are so negative, basically. Right, <laughs> right. Because that, that yeah. And, and let me tell you, I've seen a change because when I wor uh, got involved into the, the meetup here, it was more a local, you know, a, a local affair, right? And, you know, the presentations were face-to-face, uh, -face, et cetera. Once the pandemic uh, arrives, then we have to change the, you know, the, the medium, right? And, and the reach you know, to the audience. And what is happening now is that people are used to, you know, more online, uh, you know, delivery yep. and more face-to-face. -face. The last one that we did was in, was in December. Okay, and it was not the, the the best time, you know. It was more, you know, getting to the holidays. So, and we said, you know, let, let's stick with that virtual <laughs> for now <laughs> because it, it it takes time, you know, to organize the place and you know all the logistics that that, that involves. With virtual, it's a little bit easier. <laughs> you know, you just post a link and you got the speaker, and you know. Here we right. go. Yeah, <laughs> and your your audience can be varied and uh, all over the world, so it's not said that right. they are local around you, uh, and you always have uh, uh, somehow people that want to to join. I have many people like mm -hmm. from India mm -hmm. yep. uh, that most often join our events, uh, which okay. is great because we. Uh, so if we can, they, they help us a lot and then we can help them uh, as well others because, you know, we are so many people. That it's, it's a good uh, um, partnership somehow because I found many um, of these courses online, uh, even on YouTube, that are led from Indians. For example, mm -hmm. they are pioneers for for some type of codes, and uh, mm, uh, so and what we can do. It's it's very uh, little uh, compared to all they all of the your need they need, and so uh, we do things for free. And we have people join us, uh, most probably for this reason, but somehow because they can gather networking uh, within each other. You never know mm -hmm. who is going to to be there, and uh, you can get in touch. You can follow them. They can follow back you back, uh, and uh, I think it's a good um, uh, good option for for expanding. Uh, the audience and uh, your network. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, John, for this project. And next week, it's um. Uh, there is a uh, you. Uh, you might know him because uh, I had a um, a little talk with him, and he is going to present a very interesting um. <laughs> project which is much more than a project because it's something in production already mm. and it, it is very useful i'd use it i use it already so oh i hope that will be a bit more people so i think we we might want to do some some like uh post the events around and see yeah yeah i i this this week or this month whatever or rather totally got away from me i was like whoa it's time already <laughs> for project club um unfortunately next month i'm going to be uh with my parents right up until it and then i'm going to be on the road that day um I, I should be able to join but i don't know that i'll you know really be able to participate um but yeah we will definitely try to get people more aware because it's got that title that uh you know, Ricardo was saying that we'll get more people in. Um, yeah. oh, that's a shame. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we'll yeah. definitely post about it. Yeah. Um, it's Marketing harder. is very important part. Is what yeah. I didn't mention it. Marketing so, is very important. It is. It's interesting because for this group, like, yeah, we want to get people in, but we also want to make sure that it stays the friendly group. Um, because part of the point of this particular club is 
and it's to practice, to have a low pressure place to do a presentation. Um, but, you know, we also want to get as many people as we can. So um, we'll see. Well, I'll go ahead and, you know, I'll put that one out on social media as we're getting closer, at least, and see what happens. Um, right. So, cool. cool. All right. Yeah, I um, I will see everyone on Slack and I'll like I said, I'll, I'll hop onto the call, but uh, I'll have to um, make sure that that one's ready to go if I can't be there. <laughs> so um, anyway, I will see you all on Slack. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you.